our business dream become a reality in Unley. This is our story. The, the only way to tour good pizza is a margarita from the dough and the sauce. That's, that's, the that, that's how you tell a good pizza. Whenever we go and try pizzas anywhere, whether it's here in Australia or when we go to Italy, it's always the margarita. Always the margarita. That's the way to really test a good pizza, is the margarita. And it's, it's the classic, it's the yeah. classic style as well. Yeah, so. it's a bit. Yeah. Yeah. This is the best part of the shop actually, right to where we're standing now. This is where the wood oven's going to be placed. So the wood oven's actually in, in custom made in Naples. It's going to be a real feature because we're actually getting the whole thing cluttered in a specific shape that we're after. Surrounding with copper flutes to create um, a bit more of that authentic sort of feel. The bench will be facing the out, um, all our produce will be um, the front. on the front part of the counter. So this is where the rolling, uh, the hand rolling of the dough will actually start. Yeah, and then it will be passed on to the next station sauce, where it will actually sauce, be, cheese, you know, put the toppings all on. the toppings usually go on and then we have... Um, put it onto your peel, onto the peel, the, into the oven. Yeah, onto the peel, into the oven. I'll be taking more of the pizza side. Adrian's more of a pizza chef. And, and, then, he'll be and then he'll be doing more of the front. I'll be more front of customer house. Service. Customer service. So we've just picked our leather. And it's going to be the old classic fold and deep button effect. Uh, which we're going to have running along most of the side of the wall. And then in front of it, we're actually getting recycled timber tops um, for the tables, for actually inside and outside. That was a main priority for our business. Like an alfresco to have an alfresco dining area, because that's the way it's like in Europe. I guess we're pretty fortunate as well because King William don't have a lot of outside areas. So we obviously explained to the only council that adding something like that outside will actually create a, a nice effect to their so attract more the, people. Exactly, yeah. For the specific license that we're going for, for the amount of seating, only council required a certain amount of toilets to be put into the shop. But only council again were very supportive with moving that process along, and it actually didn't take very long to um, get all that approved. That's where the shelving is. It's not going to be much space. Yeah, no. It's well, enough for a walkway, that's it. Enough, literally enough for a walkway. Because these shelves are going to have to go all the way actually to the top. Definitely. Or as high as we can get them. Yeah. Well, to the top. Yeah, yeah cool. Well, there's going to be a lot of flour. <laughs> a lot of bags of flour. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of tins of tomato sauce as well. It's, it's, it's easy to come up with, with the idea and the concept, but to actually bring it to life is is where the work actually starts. It just takes time and patience, unfortunately. Yeah, patience. <laughs> yeah there's, there's a lot of patience involved in something like this. It's a dream come true, really. All this hard work's really paid off. Really happy with it. And franchise opportunity already within, within two weeks, which is amazing. So we're really happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. Call the Manager of Business and Economic Development at the City of Unley to find out how your business can become a successful part of the Unley region.